Hey, God bless you. It's such a joy for me to be with you all today. Thank you so much for coming in. Just want to declare God has amazing things in store for you as well. So I told you we're doing this new series about relationships and it's so important that we deal with this because we need to develop good relationships and have a harmony with the people around us, whether it's at work or school or home or church or community or neighborhood. So today I'm going to talk about a very important aspect of understanding people. You know, many times it's easy to accept people who have similar ideologies. It's easy to understand people who come from a different, same background or from a you know, similar vision, similar uh, community, similar faith, similar denomination, similar um, you know, history, and s similar classroom. Or You know, when you have similarities, it's easy to accept people. It's easy to, uh, you know, you know, not judge them but when you come through people who are not like the way we are not raised the way we were raised not raised with the same background as we are not coming from the same financial status as we are maybe they came from a different cultural background maybe they came from a different society or a different faith or a different ideology or a different denomination it's difficult to live in harmony with people like that it's easy to focus on something that's not right or they say hey look at their lifestyle man how look at that person how can i accept that person look at them and it's easy to judge them it's easy to write them off saying oh that person is hopeless you know we cannot see any change in that person look at all the chains that they are in look at their addictions see how many times uh, that person is drinking every day <laughs> look at the times they are smoking you know it's easy to focus on where they are right now and not try to understand who they are and just judge them and write them off thinking this they're hopeless See, just because you write them off doesn't mean God has written them off. You know, I want you to understand that each and every single individual is in a workmanship with, with, before God. That means God is working in them. They are in a work in progress. You know, you and I are no one to write them off. You have no idea what they've gone through. You know, I always say this, you know, before you write somebody off, first take time to understand them. Do you know what they've been through? Do you know the person you are thinking, you know, is good for nothing, has gone through an abusive childhood? Do you know that the person you're thinking is, oh my goodness, that person, look at the addictions they are holding on to. Maybe they were raised with a single parent. Or maybe they were bullied while they were small. Maybe they went through a loss that cannot be spoken of. Maybe they went through uh, racial discrimination or maybe they were put down or they went through an experience that shaped them to who they are. You know, the time you spend in judging, gossiping about them and writing somebody off, I would encourage you to take time to understand people. You know, one of the things I always used to face is, you know, right from the time I was small, I went through a lot of abuse. I've gone through people putting me down uh, for various reasons for, you know, the way I was, the way I looked, my color, or, you know, I've gone through so many rejections and failures and, you know, people thinking, you know, you're good for nothing and all of that. And all these things shaped me to who I am today. And, you know, sometimes it's just my personality that I'm an introvert that I, you know, find it difficult to talk to people on one-on-one. -on -one. I can preach in front of a huge crowd, but if you ask me to speak in front of one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes I stammer, I stutter, and you know, people have actually told me, John, I think you have attitude. You know, it's not that I have attitude. It's because of all that I went through, the hurts that are buried on the inside that causes me to behave the way I am. Sometimes I'm just scared of, you know, what happened in the past may happen again, and you know, I'm still overcoming all these things. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, just like me, every single person has a story. You know, if you look on the outside, you can judge and say, oh, this person is having attitude. Oh, that person is mean. That person is not good enough. That person is having all these things. You know, instead of writing, writing off people off, I encourage you today to start focusing on trying to get to know people. You know, instead of thinking that person is good for nothing, you know, take time to try to understand what they've been through. You know, maybe if you try to put yourself in their shoes, you will be able to say, oh my goodness, you know, if they went through all that and still survived, I got to give hats off to them. Rather than, you know, throw the hat on them, you will be giving them hats off. Instead of, you know, uh, rubbing them out, you will start cheering them up. And that's what I'm encouraging us, you to do. You know, try to understand that each person is different. Each person's personality is different. You know, um, I, I, I study a lot about temperaments and all. I realized that 
each person's temperament is different, you know, whether some may be introverts, some may be extroverts, some may be sanguines or melancholic or uh, choleric or, um, you know, phlegmatic, you know, and all these temperaments and the, you know, the backgrounds that they come from and all the things that shape them to who they are today, you know, that is why they are the way they are. So the time you take to judge them and write them off, I encourage you today, take time to understand people. Take time and ask God to help you understand people, help you to love people in that process, love people in that state that they are in. And one more important thing, it's easy to judge somebody and say, look at the change they're in, look at the addictions that person is into. You know, it's easy to judge them. But you know, the scripture puts it this way in Corinthians, the Apostle Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. You know, you may not be as bad as them, but instead of judging them, just try to understand, if not for the grace of God, you could be in the same thing that they're in. So today, I'm asking you to have a different perspective and say, you know, oh yes, I'm not, you know, no one, I'm nobody to judge them. They might have gone through something bad. Let me show that love. Let me show that care. Let me show that compassion. Let me show the truth with love. And when you do that, you can make the difference in every single relationship that is in your life. May God bless you. Amen. If you were blessed by that message, I uh, encourage you to like it, comment on it, share it, and subscribe to this channel if you're not done so. I believe God has great things in store for you as well. And before I leave, I want to just show, uh, share with you my book. Most of you would have known about it, but it's getting two years since the book came out and it's a beautiful book about identity, value and purpose that you find in Christ Jesus. I encourage each one of you to get it. It's available on the internet, it's available on Amazon, Flipkart, it's available on hard copy, it's available on Kindle. Uh, don't miss getting it because I see countless testimonies of people telling me how they are never into books but they've been blessed by reading this and I believe that this book is going to bless you uh, uh, as well and if you want more details do feel free to contact me as well. May God bless you. Amen.